Hello and welcome back to your new tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can record audio in your Android mobile. So I am going to show you Android coding here. First of all that, we need to get the permission. So that can be get into Android manifest file. Right, so Android manifest.xml, so we need user permission of external storage. So we need uh, uh, write external storage and then again we need another usage permission that is the storage only uh, sorry uh, the another permissions we need storage so we can say the uh, android dot permission sorry dot permission dot storage right and then we need permission for media recorder right so we can write here uh, record record audio we can say right perfect so it's a media recorder now the permission has been fine for me we have got the permission now the another thing what we need to do here um, we need to create here a uh, button right so let's create a four button why four button before creating four buttons let's make it a, a linear layout okay so make it a linear layout and in the linear layout make the orientation oops make its orientation as a uh, what i can do i think it's not accepting this uh, orientation so let's make it a relative layout first right and then let's put uh, a linear layout inside this relative layout match parent and then match parent and then what I can do here I mean I can give a orientation to this and that orientation is vertical right so now I am going to add here a four text right so the four text sorry the four button so the first button would be for uh, you know for uh, a record and the another one would be the for stop and then third one would be for the play right so what we can do here uh, and the fourth one would be for the stop uh, uh, stop recording I mean the stop playing at any time so what we can do here mm, we need to create here a button right so it's a button and layout width and the height would be the wrap content it's the wrap content okay and text would be record and uh, let's give the id to the button one so that could be id is equal to the id and then button one right and apart from this we need to also uh, give us some margin from the top and uh, we need to also why uh, and also we need to make it into the center let's make it into the center so what we can do uh, we can make it layout uh, uh, what could be that things uh, we need uh, um, i'm missing something is it layout gravity is it center horizontal yes it's center horizontal and then we need a little bit margin okay so we can give a top margin let's say the 30 sp perfect so this is for button one right so this is for the record and now we can do for all other button a same right so let's copy and the paste it four times then I'll show you okay so the first one was the record and the other one would be uh, play I mean sorry another one would be what you can say the stop okay and let's give it the button ID too and then you can say as a play and then we can give it to the button ID 3 and then this one we can say stop playing 
I mean they stop playing at any time right of course you can I stop playing at any time now we need to give it to the four number now I think everything is fine here okay great now let's come to the main activity in the main activity we need to do the many things okay so first of all that we need we are going to create a tag here so we can do the log t okay apart from this log t now we need to initialize the button so what we can do the button and then button one and then it was button two then it was button three then it was button four and then button five and uh, oh sorry it was only the up to the button four not the button five okay great sorry and uh, now here since it is audio recording so we cannot do this audio recording into the main thread so we need a sorry i mean the into the main we need a thread which will be running into the background okay so we need to create here a thread so let's give it to the name as a runner to the, this thread okay and uh, let's uh, create one more variable to get the db i mean the total noise label okay so the private star is double and let's take it ema mema is equal to 0, 0.0 and then we need another static static final of a private double type of uh, you know the ema filter right so we can say EMA filter it says equal to 0 0.6 so here static private uh, static final private double is a kind of has defined into the C programming okay now we need the audio path where the audio would be saved so it could be the string and then uh, audio save uh, sorry audio save path in device okay so initially let's make it to the null there would not be the any path and now we need a media recorder so here we have a two media recorders and the media player so the media recorder would uh, record the data i mean the voice so it will be the media recorder and then we can say it as a media recorder right and uh, apart from this what we need to do we need a string random audio uh, sorry we need to define uh, i mean the request permission so we can do the same here okay so the public static in the public static uh, final and then int type okay so the final int uh, request permission code okay a request permission code okay so it's let's put it to the one okay so now we have our media recorder and now let's make the media player media player make it media player okay great perfect so i'm going to stop this tutorial here and I'll cover another part into next tutorial.